Hi guys, so today we are going to talk about a really nice country, like a really nice uh, environment, scenarios, like uh, scenes, sorry, not scenarios. Okay, a really nice scene and a very good place for vacation and th there are a lot of beaches, a lot of like Asian uh, tourist sites and everything. It just looks so beautiful, a lot of seas, waters and all those things and also a nice environment for everything that you might be thinking about, like all those your questions. Where, uh, that you think about when you before you move abroad it's also a very good place and we are going to answer those questions in this video so we are talking about brazil i know that brazil might not be on your final destination or at your top destination but brazil is a really nice country that you might want to consider move like when you want to move abroad even if it is like to move abroad and then to reach your final destination because of its fle uh, flexibility and affordability and also the environment and everything that comes the advantages and everything that comes with that so without wasting much of our time I'm gonna tell you what we are gonna talk about today so we are going to talk about like why do you want to choose Brazil why choose Brazil the advantages of moving to Brazil and then like uh, the visa pathways that you have in Brazil as well as the study routes because I'm mainly focused on study routes is it's one of the easiest way to move abroad so the study routes and everything that comes with that how you can prepare yourself and how you can apply okay so without wasting much of our time we will just hi guys welcome to next step with cherry so if you're my new viewer i want to say very big thank you and if you're my returning subscriber thank you so much for choosing cherry and if you've not subscribed to my uh, channel please subscribe to my channel and also you can share with your friends and recommend your friends to my channel because I try as much as possible to give educative and informative uh, uh, information which might help us one in one or two ways so why Brazil so why Brazil and the first Thing that I want to say is that I like the fact that Brazil is one of the countries that I know that gives citizenship when you give birth in that place. Yes, I know that most of you must have known about that, but what you might not know is that it's a bit different from Portugal. We've talked about Portugal where we talk about when you give birth uh, to your child in Portugal, you will get a green card or a citizenship to be like your child will then become a Portuguese uh, citizen. But the thing about Portugal is that you need to be there for one year before you can get this access. But in Brazil, that is not the case. The case is just for you to get to Brazil and then when you give birth, then your child automatically gets the citizenship. And another good thing about it, if you want to consider it to move with your family and give birth there, is that when you give birth and your child gets the citizenship, then you automatically also get a resident permit or permanent resident permit to stay in Brazil. So Brazil is a family-oriented country. In that sense, you and your husband are getting the permanent resident because you, uh, both of you need the signature to do everything when it comes to the child since in, on your child passport you will see that on the child passport you will see the name of the father and the name of the mom so that is how it works so in brazil is a really good place if you want to consider giving birth to your children and letting your children have like a very strong passport it is a place to consider now how to move with that we can do it in another video or you can research more on how to move to portugal uh, brazil uh, how to give birth in Brazil or something like that. You can research more on that. And then one of the good advantage of uh, Brazil is that their healthcare system is free. Yes. So it is free in Brazil. The healthcare is free. During your stay in Brazil while you give birth, it is free. So if you are going for the public hospitals, it is free. But private hospitals might be a little bit expensive. So it depends on your choice and it depends on your finance. And then one other good thing about uh, Brazil is free education. Yes, free education for kids, free education to your PhD level. Yes, for international students, it's also free education. So Brazil have this free education system whereby you can study your undergraduate, your master's and your PhD and your children can as well go to school for free. Yes, they can go to school for free. So is, isn't that good? Like, yeah, it is really good and it's something that win that I like about Brazil is that their transport system is also free. Yes, transportation is free. And what other free thing do we have? We have like really low accommodation fee and we also have free meal. 
Yes, <laughs> free meal, yes. So if your child is going to school, you, you don't even need to worry about getting up and like make food and all that. You just need to let them go to school. They offer free meal. The public schools offer free meal in school. And you as a university student, there is also free lunch in school and like free meal in school. So to your PhD level, so far you're studying in the public universities in, in Brazil, they offer free meal. Yes, they do offer free meal. So now these are the advantages. And also another advantage of uh, moving to Brazil is that if you have like skill work, it will also be a very good advantage for you. So even though that Brazil is a Portuguese speaking country, but you can as well try as much as possible to learn Portuguese before you move. I'm going to tell you how. And also, if you are moving with a tourist visa, then you can as well try as much as possible to register and like to learn it during your stay with the tourist visa before you trans like uh, switch it to any other visa, uh, be it work permit and other things. Because this Portuguese is going to help you to find work. It's going to help you to at least live life. Uh, there. I know that a lot of you will be like, oh no, I don't want to learn languages. But so far you are talking about countries that are, that English is not their official language. It is, I always advise people to start learning it earlier because the earlier the better and it will give you, it will give you more chance of getting into, getting fit, like getting into the, getting in touch with the locals and like, you know, um, uh, mixing up with what is happening, getting information and like living your life without any stress. It will help you so much when you do that. So now you can move with your family in all that I've said because we are talking about a place that almost everything is free. So I would advise that you move with your family. So you just need to put in the proof of fund thing together and then you get your either your study visa. Now we go over to visa. So you get either your study visa or you get the tourist visa or you can get your work permit. So you can get your work permit. So these three ways you can move to Brazil. They also have other pathways that you can as well explore now so when you want to move with your tourist visa please check with your embassy to know the requirements and everything their visa doesn't take long to come out i uh, like two weeks or so the visa comes out and then you know if you're moving or if you're not so that is one good thing about that and the study visa is also the same but now when it comes to study uh, pathway we are now moving into the study pathway when it comes to the study pathway most of the universities in brazil like i said they are free tuition you don't need to pay anything you don't need to pay any tuition so they are free now what do you have to do what you have to know is that most of the schools even though that they are free the most of their courses are offered in portuguese most of the public universities their courses are offered in portuguese so except you are going for private universities which might then take money so the private universities their tuition ranges from two thousand dollars to around five thousand to seven thousand dollars per year so you might if you don't want to go through the stress of going in with the uh, with the Portu uh, learning Portuguese, then if you have the money, then you can just go with the private universities. And the admission for the private universities are quite fast. It's really fast and everything. So you can just check the schools that are available and then you will try to apply. If you have the money, check their tuition. If it is below what you want, like your, uh, like your, what you plan, then you can take it. But if you want to go to the public university, like you don't have any money for your tuition, then you need to go through the learning, like the Portuguese learning process. Now let's go into another aspect of the study route. So if you have your HND and your OND, yes, you can go for your master's and you can go for as a transfer student in Brazil. Yes, you heard me right. You can move as transfer student in Brazil. So far you have your transcript and you have your degree, then you can be able to apply. So how are you going to apply this study in Brazil? Whether you have master's already, you want to go for PhD, or you have your BSc and you want to go for master's, or OND, HND, you want to go for your master's, and or you have your high school certificate and you want to go for your bachelor's. How are you going to go for this admission process? So one thing is like the step is for you to find the federal universities or the public schools in Brazil. Okay, I'm going to list some of the schools that I've found and I will keep it on the description. I will keep the names you just have to search and go to the, 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 the school. I'm not going to keep the link because it's a lot. So I just type the name and you just have to type it on Google and search through that. So we have Federal University of Santa Catarina. We have Federal University of 
Pemabunko, I don't know, I'm sorry. We have South Polar uh, State University. We have Federal University of Rio de Janeiro. We have Federal University of Santa Maria. We have Federal University of Vicoso or something like that. We have Federal University of the ABC. We have University of Brazil and we have a lot more. I'm going to keep it on the description so that you can go through it. Now, what are the steps to go to it? Remember that if you go it with your phone, if you set that with your phone, it might, it might bring out like Portuguese, it might be in Portuguese. So I usually use my laptop to set that so that it can automatically translate to English. So if you can be able to translate it with your phone, that is okay. So when you go there, then you have to search for undergraduate study or you have to search for how to apply. So when you search for how to apply, one thing about applying to uh, Brazil is that uh, you will need to write exam. You will need to write an entrance exam, which is in line with your career. So if you are going for computer science, then you know that you probably you probably need to write math, you write computer related stuff, and maybe English. You need to write that. Sorry, not English because you're not learning with English. So it depends on your course. If you are going for nursing, then you need to write biology and other courses that are related to that so you need to write it they will uh, they will show you they will show you like uh, there are two places that you can write it one is f u v e s t or something and another uh, website is s i s u website but you if you're ready and the, the exam is in Portuguese, yes, the exam is in Portuguese. So if you know Portuguese or if you're ready or if you want to try and if you want to try it out, then you can apply or you can write or you can see how it goes. And if you're still confused about that, one thing that I usually do when I'm confused is to send an email to the school. So you can try to send an email to the school with Portuguese or you can try to send an email to, with them. Maybe you try with English and see if they will respond. If they don't respond, then you have to translate it and then send it to them in Portuguese. And when they send it back to you, you can then translate and know what they say. So what you're telling them, what you what you will send it to them is how you can apply. You will tell them your name, tell them the course that you want to apply, undergraduate or master's. You tell them where you're from. You tell them if you have knowledge of Portuguese or not. You tell them the degree you have and you ask them how do you go about it? What are the steps to take? Because you don't understand the entrance exam system. You can as well ask them and then you wait for their response. So if they don't respond, in three days four days then you send it again until they respond yes you try to send until they respond so if they don't respond when you send the English version then you have to translate it and send it with the uh, Portuguese version so this uh, public schools uh, tuition is free and they have a lot of courses available University of Sao Paulo Federal University of Sao Paulo I think that is how it's called uh, Federal University of Sao Paulo or something like that they have a lot of courses and they are among the top universities in Brazil and Brazil like Brazilian universities are really like uh, they have high rank in the world, uh, Queens, whatever system of ranking. They also have like really high rank. So this way you can move to, you can move to Brazil, not Portugal. You can move to Brazil and then you will start your study. Now, how can you learn Portuguese before you apply? Because if you are applying for a Portuguese language course, Portuguese thoughts course, then you need to know, like you need to have the IELTS of Portuguese. So IELTS is of English, but they have another one for, they have theirs for Portuguese. So theirs for Portuguese is called Celta Bra or something like that. C-E-L-T uh, slash B-R-A or B-R-A-S or something. I'm going to keep it on the description. So the certificate of Brazilian or certificate of Portuguese. So how can you go about this? Most of these are offered by the embassy of your country, the, the uh, uh, Brazilian embassy of your country. So you might want to reach out to the Bra Brazilian embassy of your country to ask them, to tell them that you want to register for Portuguese class. It's usually six months, six months to one year, depending on your learning speed. And then you write the exam. So if you write the exam and pass the exam, then you can be able to apply if you do it now then you can be able, you'll be looking at moving by september that means you will apply for for next year intake around january time you will then write the exam and apply so if you if you if you cannot get in contact like in nigeria you can write it or you can learn it i think uh you uh lasso lego state University, something like that and OAU they are, they, they are, you can as well register it in these two places and there are different co uh, costs and like it's six months to one year depending on your learning speed but if you're not from Nigeria please ask your embassy as the president embassy in your country where you can learn Portuguese send them an email or call them and ask them where
where you can learn Portuguese in like uh, in your country and then you know where to take it from so the fee is not really that high if you have to go for like six months so it depends on your choice and your decision now another way to go to it another way to go with it is that if you go with tourist visa to, to Brazil then you can use that to like learn your Portuguese your Portuguese language or something you can transition there switch there and learn Portuguese first before you go into study if study is what you study right is what you want to do and now about jobs of course there are jobs in in Brazil but at the same time Time. the language thing is also that you need to learn the language so that you will get like a good job like good jobs you need to learn the language so that you will get like really good professional jobs and what I usually tell my audience is that I would uh, it's also good if you learn some skills skills like uh, skill certifications uh, maybe IT tech switch if you want to switch to tech then you can just start by by getting all the certificate on Google Google Analytics data analytics and uh, business analysis business analysis you guys have seen I post a lot of this on on uh, WhatsApp Instagram and also on my uh, business analysis and project management all these really uh, good certificates in demand skills in almost all the country you can try to use this time of it to as well learn the skills learn it it's like three months some of them might be three months some of them might be 12 weeks or something like that and then you can get the certification and then you can use it on your CV to get a really good standard job so this will also help you to transition into your work permit and then all the skills like Plumber, carpenter, welder, mechanic, uh, braiding, uh, braiding, guys, braiding and cooking, all those things can also help you because you know that a lot of African countries speak Portuguese, uh, speak Portuguese language. Therefore, in Brazil, there are a lot of, it's like mixed. You have like the real. Brazilians and you also have like uh, uh, Portuguese speaking African Africans there as well as we like English speaking Africans there so it's like really mixed and you can as well teach English you can teach English you can teach your language you can teach French and everything like that you can teach that you can do freelancing you can as well do that digital marketing and all those jobs so you can as well run that so if you feel like Port uh, Brazil not Portugal I don't know why I keep on saying Portugal if you feel like Brazil is one of the like a good place for you with all these advantages then you can make Brazil, Brazil your choice and start your research on how to apply to Brazil and the process. So with that, we come to the end of today's video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up so that it will be recommended to other people that are looking for this information. And see you guys next time in our next video. Bye.